We got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. across the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas. Wondrous experiment! He created you? asking myself, why couldn't I have come too sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. <sighs> what? So, of course, this is the famous moment, one of the most important moments in the game, when it's revealed just how depraved of a person Sephiroth is, where the town, the village of Nibelheim, was burned to the ground. Now, in the original game, they, of course, back in the 90s, and with the graphics technology and the scope of games at the time, it was just the one overview shot of the village burning. Cloud runs into the middle of it, gets told by Zangin, or however you pronounce his name, like, you check in that house, and Cloud runs into his mom's house, and he walks out with this sort of dejected animation, like, oh, God, no. I guess that is them saying that, oh, his mother died. And of course his mother died. Everybody had to die in this. And... It doesn't really feel like it gave the fact that his mom died there its due weight. Like, oh, well, the village is burning, and it's, it's like the entire the entire weight of this is based on the idea that the village was destroyed. And it seems a little bit less personal for Cloud, because his mom died. His mother died, and that is something that he really should have been... They should have shown a little bit more, with, rather than him just walking out and then 
showing this like drop shooting drooping shoulder animation in this though they're having cloud like try to get to her house and saying like mom please be okay that kind of thing it makes a lot more sense of course me being an idiot here got uh, turned around and tried going through this door so let me cut that out I do feel it's a little bit irritating that they are having cloud limp his way into town of course he like he gets injured so it makes sense that he's not able to move as fast. But they're making this entire scene take too long. It'd be nice if Cloud could move a little bit faster. Like this whole thing that takes a few minutes could have taken a few seconds. And I feel like it would have had the same narrative impact if we weren't slowly just lurching our way through. Maybe if he were still limping but he were moving twice as fast as he is now. This, however, feels like it takes forever. And, like, it doesn't matter how emotionally wrenching a scene may be, if it goes on for too long, like, since it's not real, like, it's not your mom that just burned to death in a fire, you're not going to feel it the same way that the character does. And eventually you're just going to sort of get tired of it. Unfortunately, that's something that's happened here. This should have not taken as long as it does. Anyway, we made it to the other side of the building. Something you'll notice on the side out here, of course, them making little allusions back to what's actually happening, is a Shinra trooper on the ground out here that is say, calling for his mom, and that's the actual cloud. And of course we're going back to the same thing but moving even slower now with Cloud slowly crawling around now. You have to press the R2 and L2 buttons and with the PlayStation 5 you have those haptic feedback buttons. So there's actually a little bit of pressure on the button making it harder for you to pull them back. So it, it sort of gives you the impression of what Cloud is going through right now. Like he's struggling to drag himself forward and it's, it's a little bit more difficult for you to actually push the buttons to pull him forward. Unfortunately what you're looking at here is a little bit goofy. Because you have Sephiroth surrounded by four men with guns, and they're just standing there as he's hacking them to hacking them to bits, <laughs> like one at a time. He's not even being quick about it. It just seems a little bit goofy. <laughs> I wish I had done something different, or at least like had him hack them up a little bit quicker.
I'm coming. Sephiroth! I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Dad and I had gone there to hide. When Sephiroth showed up, Dad decided that he was going to confront him. Dad! It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <laughs> who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever.
You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> they were mine by right. This planet too, for I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! 